Today we're going to make a classic scotch cocktail, the Rob Roy. For this drink, you're going to need a Nick and Nora glass, a jigger, a bar spoon, a Hawthorne strainer, a mixing glass, and a fancy toothpick. This drink uses scotch, sweet vermouth, orange bitters, and maraschino cherries for garnish. If you're not going to make your own cherries, make sure you're using real, quality maraschino cherries. This is one of the better known scotch cocktails. The origin of this drink is a little murky. Just as the Blood and Sand is named after the movie, it's suggested that the Rob Roy was named after a Broadway production about Rob Roy McGregor, and it seems to have originated from the wall of Astoria in the 1890s. It's very similar to a Manhattan, but it's not as simple as swapping out rye for scotch, because the orange bitters make a big difference. According to the Waldorf Astoria bar book, this drink was originally made with orange bitters, not aromatic bitters. After Prohibition, orange bitters began to decline in popularity until the 1960s when they became virtually non-existent. So with orange bitters being so hard to find, aromatic bitters started getting subbed into those pre-Prohibition recipes that originally called for orange bitters. And that's how this recipe, like the dry martini, lost touch with its orange bitters roots. The Waldorf recipe never specified a garnish. I like going with cherries, because they work so well with sweet vermouth. But lemon twists are another common garnish for the Rob Roy, so I'll leave that part up to you. For mine, I'm using a smokier version of the famous grouse called the Black Grouse. But the original cocktail most likely used Dewar's, which means that the drink wasn't supposed to be as smoky as I make it. I like it that way. It may not have been the original intended flavor profile, but what you do in the privacy of your own bar, well that's up to you. We're going to start by chilling the glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next we're going to measure two ounces of scotch. Add that to the mixing glass. With this jigger, that's two pours. Measure a three-quarter ounce of sweet vermouth. Add that to the mixing glass. And hit it with two dashes of orange bitters. Add ice and stir it well to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice from your Nick and Nora glass. Then strain the contents of your mixing glass into your chilled cocktail glass. Spear a couple cherries on your fancy toothpick and drop it in your glass for garnish. And that's all there is to it. The Rob Roy. Slangeva. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.